Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. After you. Uh, I'll take that time to throw up. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Ooh, why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got Monster gotta food. Your taste the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... With our monster peacefully walking beside us, we'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Don't the tentacle thing. Two more things we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety as leader. And now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. 
That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt whiskey. Yeah, really great speech. So, when are the rest of us gonna get jet boots? It takes years of special training to operate these things. You had years of jet boot lessons. Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. Seknarf ain't never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Seknarf 9 is a sanctuary. You say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you. The most unpleasant way. That can't be true. Such a gas flat! So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious hair follicle on this flawless body. You have counted them. This is bizarre. Hey, at least I have some to count. Line for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the flark? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a pulse? Let's just get this done. An infinity bridge is what it is. Are you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you? Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count contracts. Contractia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin, as a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. Stop worrying so much, you're gonna start growing knots again.
Okay, here we go. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. You can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over. Well, look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. No, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. On. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. 
a movie. Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... Know. You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Hand still stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. So what, now you're too old for gifts? What? No. I was just looking around. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. The longer you wait to get that gift, the more likely I am to change my mind about the movie. No way. You wouldn't. Try me. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. You know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. Uh, here we go. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks.
Sometimes grandma and grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. I know it sounds crazy, but mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The bark it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders. Fully on board with Rocket's plan that I was totally paying attention to. See? Even Captain Space Cadet don't trust your gymnastics. Wait, what about gymnastics? I just think we shouldn't be relying on a piece of tech. You won't even be around to use. It ain't a freedom It's a tracker. Even you mouth breathers can figure it out. Lame. Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Half-World and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket. I mean, Things puny. It is a hell beast in the namesake of your mistress. It would be wise to reconsider. All right. Get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen one of those two. But I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. It's not like she can chase after us with her whole monster mash. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Because Quill flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be our Ha! <laughs> Not yours. Come over near the cave and say that again. This place is cool and all, but could it fit the entire Guardians of the Galaxy fleet? We have a fleet. Then why must we suffer aboard such a small ship? He means... <sighs> Never mind. The skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh. Explains the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no! You will remain still. No 
erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's confidence. Spare me your empty attitude. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not claim me for your food. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you. I said, lady. release it. We got this. the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of you. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. Presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But, uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. She is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. It would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. When will it reach its big size? Yeah, I wouldn't pet him like that again unless you want to lose a finger. He bites hard. I admire a creature with some spirit. What would you call it? It is a hell beast. It doesn't look like much. <sighs> if 
I didn't know any better, I'd think it was a woodland creature. True, but do we mention it's one of a kind? Just look deep into those angry raccoon eyes. I ain't a freaking raccoon! And you'll see that there's a monster in there. And what would you like for the hell beast? 20,000 units. Twenty thousand. And not a penny less. Actually, we've already got an offer for twenty thousand units. From the collector. Floorboard, <sighs> was it? Actually, it's Star Lord. Quiet. I know the kind of creatures the collector seeks. If Tivan had made an offer on a hell beast. I would have heard. Since I heard nothing, it's clear you're lying. Oh, Silence! The creature is worthless to me. Worthless? You're worthless! So 15,000 then? I wouldn't even feed your hell beast to my pet flurkin. You have a pet flurkin? And I'm the worthless one? I'll show you worthless. Ah! 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 What are you doing? Land me, Quill! Guys, less talking, more escaping! Hellbender's goons are gonna be here any second. Quill's right. Shut your traps and follow me. Not what I'm saying. Let's just find the big elevator we came in on and get the hell out. No wonder we're always poor. You saps don't know how to take what's yours. We got company! About time!
killers! I'll tell your mistress to say goodbye! Stupid grunts! Ha ha ha! not much weight to pull. Joke all you want, but without me, you wouldn't be able to get through this door. Without you, we wouldn't be in front of this door. You see? Vault's right there. We smash and grab them, like Will said, out the way we came in. 5,000 units to the Hellraiser who killed the so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, people, let's do this. One catastrophe at a time. Watch those elevators! Lord! 
Fuck! Way too close! Follow them! Ah! Wait, cowards! Uh, guys! I think we walked right into a trap! Trap? No, she said trap. Everyone look for a way out! Quickly! The murderous eye has returned. Try to! When they collide... The floor's weaker here, and it looks like there's a tunnel or something below us. We're about to get minced. You carve us a hole, Gamora. Flattered, but no chance. This has got Destroyer written all over it. This is trouble. You expect us to crawl through a sewer? I ain't getting wet again! I don't want to hear one word out of you! You all got a real funny way of saying thanks. Gratitude is not my current sentiment. All right, nobody's perfect. Some of us served a mad titan, and some went a little nuts hunting him down. And some of us get a little touchy being called worthless. You are not worthless, Rocket. But he's clearly worth less to Hellbender. She says she would have bought Root. Root ain't some piece of lumber you can hawk. Though I'm sure you got plenty experience trafficking lies. Watch your tongue or I'll cut it out. Oh, I'm shaking, lady. You bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> Root says you can all go sit on a hot poker. <laughs> oh, fine, fine. You're all against me. But by the end, you'll be lining up to kiss my hairy paws. Why'd it have to be water? Think of it as liquid karma. Nice lady. Everybody, quiet! Come on! Walk off the mouth of the vault. Perfect. Does not seem perfect. Just another by the numbers plan for the Guardians of the Galaxy. What we should have done is sold Drax. Hellbender was practically begging to buy a knife with a big galoot. My gift is not for sale. The house pest still owes us 12,000 units. Well, take a deep breath, cuz we're here. One vault as promised. And a giant locked door. Heads up! This side of Xandar, I can't pop. I am adding to your debt for every extra minute this takes. Keep your manis on. You can't rush genius. All Hellraisers to the main vault. Or I could try rushing and hope for the best. <laughs> My blades grow weary. Oh, we need to trade a place. Destroy this.
about this one, Peter. Let me end it. My blade will not be silent, murderess. Call me that again and I'll murder you. I am not the enemy, traitor. Guys, guys, chill out. Stop fighting each other. We'll win this together. Just focus on the enemy in front of us. Chill out and share the winning with all of us. So who's with me? I am with you, Peter. This Will. is gonna be fun! woman in the galaxy. The most deadly. Same thing. How about a thank you, Rocket? For nearly getting us killed? <sighs> for getting us into... The crappiest vault in the greater Magellanic Cloud? You said there'd be treasure! A Galeran skull is priceless. Worthless is not the same. Guys! We need a plan! Agreed! My arms are growing moderately fatigued. Dig deep, Drax. Gamora, cover them. Rock and I will try to find something of value. Groot, don't break anything. It's got to be more than just junk in this skag heap. Pretty ain't priceless. They're just lights, and they look heavy as scut. Well, this is not nothing, but nowhere near what we owe. Here we go. Not quite enough, but we're getting there. That's what I'm talking about. Not such a bad plan, after all. Not exactly good, either. Huh. All right, this will cover our fine, at least. Why stop there? After all she put us through, I say we clean her out. What she put us through? Enough! Quill. It's grown quiet. Quiet like peace and quiet, or like the grave sort of quiet. Definitely the grave one. Drax, please tell me you didn't just lock us in. I did not do anything. I'm almost. 
most impressed. The woodland creature has more bite than I originally perceived. Enjoy the contents of my vault, Guardians. They will be the last thing Peter. you ever see. Shame to waste my Quintarian gas on such unworthy invaders. Do try not to melt all over my Kalaran skull. We need to find a way out. Now! It is both priceless and hard to clean. Deep breath, people! Anyone else feel burning? Like, all over? Quintip, we've got to jam those vents. Or the gas will keep pouring in. Freeze the lethal gas vents, Peter Quill! Assassin's ring. Gamora would get a kick out of this. see a way out. 
I see a bright light. Well, don't go towards it. Guardians of the galaxy, how many times do I have to kill you? Just tell her, Peter. The audacity that you thought you could rob me. For the record, we weren't all on board with the plan. Thanks, Quill. Why not sell the clothes right off my back? Do you know what I did to the last people who thought I was easy prey? You let them go? I got nothing. We're trapped. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller! Feast upon them! A true monster. Well, let's make it truly dead. We will need to fill this for one appendage at a time. Crowd 
control! Don't forget about the big one! And beware the spine protrusions! Don't have to tell me twice! Lock it! Blast them! I command you, Ripper, Lady Hellbender! Come on out, Ripper! Like we don't have enough problems already! What's a few more? Resume full force! Put him up! Die with honor! Alright! We're making progress! It's running out of arms! Order up! The beast must feed upon these gelatinous creatures! We can't let it get its strength up! Destroy that life! my pets! Come on, just give me a shot! If I can freeze it, you can slice it! My great strength goes out of you to rise!
We do not retreat. No one mentioned anything about retreating, Peter Will. Precisely. We're the Guardians. We live to fight. Being on that field, chasing prey, fighting to live another day. Isn't that what we do best? Who's with me? This battle is endless. Now's your chance, Gamora! We still need to get out of here. 
very fast. Everybody, drop in! Now that was a ride. There's no time to celebrate. We have made an awful mistake. And an awful amount of cash. There is no escaping Lady Hellbender's ride. We'll see about that. What the... Hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scott? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Money that you forced us into stealing. Yeah, well, what about that smash and grab on Satopia? I didn't hear you complaining then. Lady Hellbender is not a bank. Yeah, that's right. Because if she was, we'd have way more loot. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? I really want to There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's not with me. Invite me. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? Oh, you were that. God, I'm tight. I think something has happened to the girl. Yeah, it's called she's Nova Corps. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. Bring her back. I just have to... It's just an array. <laughs> just an array? Look at it, Quill. Where am I going to get the parts to fix that? It's flarked! I told you it was a mistake to keep that thing. But did you listen to me? Oh, no, no, no! We don't listen to Rocket! He just has to fix the freaking ship! I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys, we need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on Nowhere has got the parts we need, and he can get rid of that Nova Tracker cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. Her behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. <sighs> Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish shooting through my ship! Or else. <laughs> <laughs> 